Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. That means that we're going to do a full oracle card spread here, and then we're going to pull an even more, like a deeper, extended, more articulated reading with tarot in an extended. That link is down below and in the comment section as well, and that always includes your romance reading. So I hope to see you over there. If you really love this video, please do subscribe to my channel to help the channel grow and like and share the video because that really helps the channel grow too. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, but also Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, wherever Libra energy affects your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so, really from whenever you see it. This is an energy reading, not a horoscope, FYI. So it can apply, I think, a lot more dynamically to many more people. Okay, Libra, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get right into it. Okay, oh, 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 okay. A little bit interesting. It's like dropping it in little small bits. Let's see, what is your crowning energy? What is the crowning energy for Libra, please? Libra, 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 Libra. Oh, we have the crowning and the grounding. Hold on. Well, you're staying put, Libra. This is the energy of three, which is balance. Taking a leap of faith is good luck. This is good luck, but this is actually taking a leap of faith by standing still, by not doing it, inactivity, not doing anything or making any big changes. Um, it's still good luck. It's still a very lucky card because grasshopper is an energy of fortune. It's the energy of, of abundance. Um, in Chinese culture, it is a sign and symbol for good luck. It could also be sort of some sort of serenading or rolling all of your assets together to sort of make it into bigger assets or whatever you've accumulated to sort of um, condense it in order to make something of it. Make some making something out of some out of the things that you already have or finding fortune in what you already have. That's the crowning energy for your reading. Now, let's get into your reading. Think on your feet. So letting living in the moment and letting the moment be. This is current. This is here. This is now. This is not thinking too far into the future, which goes right along with your crowning energy of, okay, we got to improvise. This is thinking on your feet, improvising, Sagittarius energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. I think this is more you and your mentality of having to just roll with the punches and go with the flow and not expect. This is an energy of not, of looking deeply into the here and now and where you are, but not expecting, no expectations. It could also be, well, in combination with your crowning energy, it could also be looking deeply into something. But I have to say that, I have to say this, <laughs> It's very passionate. It's very fiery. And it also suggests that there's, that there's chaos all around. Now, this could be chaos that excites you or chaos that disrupts you. We'll get into that. But ultimately, this is... Stop. 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 Ultimate... I'm sorry. That's my puppy and she's chewing on... She's chewing on something she's not supposed to. Hold on. So this is responding... Well... This is definitely feeling the chaos or, or feeling like everything is in chaos or in flux right now, which is probably why you want to not make any quick decisions or want to stand still as much as you can because there's so much going on, so much craziness. Like I said, it could be very exciting because uh, chaotic Sagittarius energy is stimulating. So there could be so much stimulation around. I hear it, stimulation. What? Um, two plus seven. So this is the energy of nine, which also lets me know that something is coming to a head. Think about a pimple and something coming right underneath it. Now you can see the head. Someone's about to pop, which is more or less also, maybe you've been working something into a place where you can get a handle on it into be able to bring it to a head and be able to push it out. So this could be you trying to heal yourself or you trying to heal the situation. It's definitely trying to get everything under control um, or attempting to get everything under control. Hmm. 
you are never alone. Oh, okay. This is the energy of six. Two coming together. This is the energy of the heart space, the home space. Um, love, but it could also be big love. It could be family love. There could be a lot of chaos when it has to do with your family right now. Especially if you are involved or in, like engaged to a Sagittarius or have uh, like um, Sagittarius energy uh, as a part of what you're dealing with. But oh, in general, this is chaos regarding your family. And it's people that you really care about. So um, there's a lot to do with this is why you don't want to jump into anything too quickly. This is why you don't want to... Um, move too fast because whatever move you make isn't going to because you're protective that's why you don't you don't want to make any move that would that would uh, jeopardize anybody you you may at some level already feel like people are being jeopardized there could be have been chatter there could have been talk there could have been judgments made that were hurtful and you're trying to keep them under wraps for right now um um because you don't want somebody to get hurt. Mm, take time out. De defensive energy. So think mama bear energy. Also the energy of nine. And nine is sandwiching love. So there's something that's coming to a head. There's chaos around. Maybe you've been arguing with your spouse. You've been arguing with your significant other. There are some sort of family issues that are coming to a head in terms of, um, I don't know, it, it, um, it could be anything from arguing around the house or things happening with your kids that you are worried about or concern you to um, figuring out custody or a custody battle coming to an end. But this is being very, very defensive or feeling like you're attacked. So this is the energy of extreme, extreme defensiveness, mama bear energy, on alert, high alert all the time. It could be that you're trying to heal or care for somebody that you really love medically. This has to do with medical healing as well or medicine and man shamanic healing um maybe you're finally going to get answers or right now you're in the exploratory um exploratory phase of your circumstance situation um and you don't um you want you want answers but at the same time well, you're very particular about it. Let's put it that way. You want answers, but at the same time, you don't really actually want to be dealing with this situation. So either way, it's sort of it's sort of a bear. It's sort of difficult to deal with. This could even be your energy of you being the bear, insisting and demanding for attention and uh, tests or test results or <clears throat> think of that one of that one of those that Shirley MacLaine scene from Terms of Terms of Endearment. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I don't mean to say that's what's going on, but like, yeah, you're demanding and you're, you're trying to defend somebody who, um, or you could even be trying to defend yourself. Like, no, I deserve this kind of care. I want this kind of care. Um, basically trying to protect somebody from all the chaos that's around them. Um, hmm. transformation is beautiful. So there could be somebody in your life right now that is, ready or about to pass on to the other side transforming or transmuting that space between life and death i'm and if that's the case um god bless you um, um but also libra this is a transformative period so this this is a this could have nothing to do with actual life itself but well i mean life and death it could just have to do with this is a different stage somebody is growing up maybe somebody is experiencing growing pains um also somebody is changing and maybe that's what's causing the chaos because you're used to living with one person but now they're changing into somebody else and you're not really sure how you fit in the dynamics at home are really starting to shift because of their personal changes but this is the central energy so this implies that it's you you that's awakening to um maybe just realizing and discovering all of those things that are going on and now just having to be able to tackle it handle it and figure out what to do with all the new information but whatever this is is an energy of real transformation so it's not like things are going to go back to normal and that could be why you're being so protective and trying to slow that wheel down from running out of control because you know that 
ultimately, Libra, things are changing for good and they're not going to go back the old way. This could actually be just transitioning like when your kids are going away to college or something like that. So it's not a bad thing, but you're trying to help them get everything done. Um, there's a lot of chaos in the house because there's a lot of like paperwork or applications to get in, uh, things to pay for, and you're right in the middle of all this craziness and it's really wonderful things, but it's a little bit, you know, it's almost like you're trying to keep yourself away from, keep yourself, you're, it's almost like you're trying to keep yourself busy to keep yourself away from the heartache of the situation. And it's not because anything bad is happening, but there is a major change happening. Um, your child is leaving, they're going away. You know, it's wonderful. It's developmentally perfect timing, but at the same time, this is a transition where somebody will be going away and somebody will be leaving and you know that. And so it's almost like you're trying to distract yourself or rein in this chaos just to have something to do to, to distract yourself from what's going on. But there's definitely a change. And this could be actually you going through a major change too. Um, I don't know if you've been feeling tired lately or exhausted lately, but that would be that those kind of that kind of energy of how you would feel right now because you're working overtime, even if you're not doing much actual physical work, you're you're doing a lot of emotional work that you're trying to sift through and get through, and it's very difficult for you to confront. Please keep confronting it. Please keep doing that work. I know it's difficult. It's a bear to get through. There's a lot of emotional chaos right now, but it's happening to awaken you because this change has to happen. It's time. That's what I keep getting. It's time, it's time, it's time. Now is a lucky time. Oh my gosh. So now is a lucky time. So you're on an upswing. Something's gonna come through. If you're worried and you're stressed about something, believe me when I say this card in combination with this card, you're gonna get lucky, Libra. And I know you don't feel lucky right now. You feel stressed out right now. You feel burdened right now. And you may even feel a little bit hopeless and sad and scared right now. There's gonna be a major breakthrough that happens in the next week or so. Nine plus four is the energy of 13. One plus three is four. This is quick moving. Things are going to speed up. They're going to get, they're going to go really fast, really quickly. But a lot of things, a lot of good stuff is going to happen to you really, really quickly. It's going to come in really quickly. It's going to multiply. This is like multiplying everything that you have. It could also mean, but it's a fortune. It's fortunate. It's not just multiplying all the chaos and all the craziness. There's some sort of benefit that's going to be, that's going there's some sort of benefit to the multiplying that's going to happen. So if you've been penny pinching, if you've been worried about the way you're going to pay bills, whatever, whatever the worry is, there's something that's going to be multiplying. It's almost like Hanukkah, eight days, eight nights that you thought they would only have oil for one night and it didn't, it lasted eight days and eight nights. So that's that kind of energy of something that is multiplying to help out and help solve the problem for you. Um, this is also my fertility card. So somebody may have planted the seed, so we may be having babies or babies might be born soon and that might be the stress and the chaos of like, how do I deal with it? Or how being prepared to like nesting, going through a nesting period of getting ready to become new parents and the baby's gonna come soon. Um, more Piscean babies, yeah, baby, that's cool. Um, Pisceans are good people, so good time to have a baby. Um, but it's gonna happen all of a sudden. That's what I'm saying. It's going to happen all of a sudden, all this luck and all this um, abundance is going to sort of come rushing in. It could also imply that if you are expecting a baby, it's not just going to be one baby. It's going to be multiples. Um, reclaim your power. Oh, I love this. So this is adding up to the energy of four and this is adding up to the energy of four. So after the craziness in the beginning of the week, there is going to be a shifting down and a stabilizing. You're going to start feeling yourself again. This could be your health is coming back or your loved one's health is coming back, reclaiming your power. You've gotten the chaos under control. You, you don't feel like so much is out of hand. I think there was a lot that you needed to know. There's a lot of information that had to come in. There's a lot of information that you had to sift through. Us Libras aren't the best at organizing all of those thoughts. Um, it could be overwhelming, especially emotions can be overwhelming for us, but they're going to start sifting down as things become clear. 
This is the energy of eight. So there's destiny involved here. Something that you now see clearly. And it could also be right now you don't know it, but somebody is watching you from a distance. Somebody is thinking of approaching you, thinking how to approach you. In other words, this could be not just a somebody, but a something as in the answers are coming to you. The answers that will empower you to be able to um, impact change. And then we have one more card. Hold on. One more card for Libra. Okay, here we go. See the big picture, but it's turned upside down. So, this could be, hold on. This could be feeling like your world has been turned upside down. This could also be just, just trying to see things from a different perspective and that different perspective. This is, okay, this is Taurus energy and when it's upright, it's looking into the distance, right? This energy is actually like looking under the ground. So remember what I said, you already have the information that you need, you just needed to dig for it or organize it or taking the resources that you already have. So that's, that's this card. This is, you're digging down, you're digging deep, you're finding, it's almost like the dig deep, like those just do it commercials. It's like, find the energy, find the strength. You already have it, it's inside of you. Use what you have, fuel your dreams, all of those things. That's what this card is. It's digging underneath, going underneath to see what you, I mean, it could be looking into your basement and, and finding and like found money type of energy. It could be looking into your basement and not realizing you already have a whole bunch of clothes or a whole bunch of baby clothes um, from one of your nieces that you never gave away. And now you're expecting a little girl. So you don't have to worry about, you know, this is something like once you dig underneath the surface of something, you're finding it, but it's got a lot to do with emotions. Of course, it is Taurus energy, so it could also have to do with 3D resources, found money, money that you didn't know that you had, resources that you didn't know you had, finding it once you dig for it, once you look for it, and they're going. it's going to be very, very beneficial. Interesting. Interesting. It'll, it'll help you out of your stuck, almost cluster situation this week. Um, moth spirit surrender now more Sagittarius energy and co-create with spirit. That is your grounding energy. This a hundred percent. Let spirit take the wheel. Let spirit take the wheel. You don't have to worry. This is flying too close to the sun and like a moth to a flame, but it's almost like spirit guided spirits going to guide you through that flight toward the sun. You, you're going to have to get through this, but really, really maintain that your root, your grounding energy is going to be spirit and spirit's voice getting you through this crazy time. Yes, you. it's almost like you're being instructed to fly a route that takes you real close to the sun or fly right into the flame. It's going to be your trust and faith and spirit that's going to bring you through. You may have to fly right into the sun. You may have to crash and burn. Interestingly enough, this is that transformative energy um, that says, well, yeah, that's part of your, pro that's part of your process. That's part of your um, destroy and then regrow. That's part of the Phoenix process. Spirit is calling you to, to behave this way. It's calling you to go in this direction. Follow it, even though it's stressing you out and scaring you. Let the stress stop by just taking a deep breath and saying, this is the way that I have to go. I know I'm being called. Trust, trust, trust the call because this is part of this is part of your development. This is this is part of your path, the path that you have to follow. This is eight, the energy of eight. Eight again, energy of eight. This is the energy of eleven. Understanding that you ever already have everything that you need and following in spirit anyway, even though it seems like it's crazy and chaotic. This is more Sagittarius energy. It could be getting a message or getting word or getting information about or from a Sagittarius, understanding a Sagittarius in your life deeper or trusting them even if it doesn't make any sense. Let me flip the phone around so that you can see. Um, we're going to do a quick review so you can see the full spread. Hold on. So here we go, full spread. Hmm. 
this is really interesting energy toward the end. It's, it's literally saying that all this abundance and all this fortune and, and, and owning yourself and reclaiming yourself is actually going to come from inside you. It's going to come from inside of what you already have. So you already have, and like I said, you already have everything that you need. But right now you're dealing with so much outside of you, so much tumultuousness and so much change that is very emotionally chaotic for you that it's almost it's almost taking you away from and distracting what you from what you really have but let me tell you you have got a lot libra there's a lot coming through for you this week especially spirit surrender now just give yourself over and co-create with spirit that's a really blatant reading but it's exactly what this energy means just trust trust what you have to do trust where you have to go even if you think it's going to destroy you, it's not going to destroy you. Remember, when a butterfly goes, when a caterpillar goes into a cocoon, it is destroying itself. In order to rebuild itself and start anew, please trust in that process. You, spirit has got your back. And right now, you're just trying to gather things and get everything together. I love you guys. Um, I'm going to extend this reading and go a little bit deeper into articulating all of these themes Follow me over to the extended reading. We'll pull a full tarot card spread and then we'll also pull these romance cards as well. Libra, I'll see you guys over there.